Well, here's something that's not so nice. Scammers, yes, they are everywhere today. And the same is true for those getting scammed in Iran right now. I guess some fraudsters are trying to scam very desperate internet users in Iran. So this fake website is asking Iranian users for Bitcoin and that will get them access to Starlink. Allegedly, no, this is not a thing. This is not, this is a scam. Unfortunately, scams are ever present today more than they've ever been. But this is something that's going on and, and I thought that it might be good just to bring up and tell you for sure the 11 countries that have uh, Starlink in the beta phase right now, Iran is not one of those countries. But this website is pretending to offer Starlink as a service. So those in Iran that really wanna get Starlink, some people are falling for it. Basically this lookalike Starlink website, which was written in Persian, has gone up at the domain starlinkiran.com and this was noticed by some users on Reddit. The website is a scam. It first asks you to pay in Bitcoin, which is not being accepted uh, for the real Starlink pre-orders. There's, there's our first hint. And you must fill out a form with your name, email, mailing address, and phone number. And the site says it'll follow up with a separate email on how to pay. The real website, starlink.com, just has you use a credit card to sign up and place your order. Not Bitcoin. And not Dogecoin. <laughs> Dogecoin! This fake Iran Starlink website also prices the internet service at $49 a month and $249 for the hardware. Well, while it is true that they are working on halving the cost of the user terminal, that hasn't happened yet. So definitely can't get one of those for $249. Also a very sure sign that this is a scam. This is not surprising. There is a massive demand for Starlink all around the globe. So of course the scammers are gonna come out to exploit that but it's unclear how many people have fallen for this scam. And it's also unclear if the real Starlink service will ever arrive in Iran, which is why I just wanted to really quickly throw it up on the screen here. The countries that currently have Starlink in its beta program being tested. So for these 11 countries, let's read them out for you. I know you can look this up yourself, but I thought that it would be helpful just to have this visual of where Starlink is being offered. So right now the status for all of these is currently in beta, but you can see United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Germany, New Zealand, Australia, France, Austria, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Mexico. And I just wanted to clarify, you can see in this photo that Mexico is targeting its beta for October 2021. So according to a report by El Economista, the first report on the IFT authorization to Starlink, the company has 180 calendar days from May 28th when it issued the authorization to have services ready. So basically by the end of November, Starlink should be ready to provide satellite internet services. So of course, people are signing up right now and getting their pre-orders in. So I guess the takeaway is be careful what you see and believe on the internet and be careful what you pay for, as in this case, uh, clearly a scam with this Starlink that's being offered for Iranian users. Hopefully not too many people fell for it. Also start a discussion that if you are in a country where Starlink isn't currently offered in beta, well, where are you from and why? I think I know the answer, but why do you want Starlink so badly for your country? Again, I love reading your guys' comments. Make sure to try and keep them nice. Sometimes things get a little bit harsh on the internet, but you know, I guess it is the internet. Like we said, it's a wild place. Well, that is all I have for now, but I will see you soon. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe, hit that like, and I'm out.